Welcome back to the small discussion of biomechanics in small capsular forms and here we have today basal support and stability as well as its relationship between the central in previous mass. video we have discussed the center of mass line of gravity and gravity and now we proceed on how that is going to produce the stability in human body of course stability is essential in each and every of our tasks and this topic is quite important in the academic point of view as well as in professional life because in professional life we come across various situations in which stability is altered these simple techniques exactly. and solutions can help us in dealing with the instability and its problem especially in old age persons etc and people with disability here we are going to discuss the base of support and its relationship between stability base of support b or s yes, base of support and its relation to stability before that we need to recollect the few things that we studied in the previous video that is the concept of a center of mass what is center of mass just recollect that if anybody is watching this video for the first time kindly watch on to the previous video the link is given above the center of mass is an hypothetical point in human body in which the entire mass of human body is assumed to be concentrated. So center of mass is a assumed point or a hypothetical point in which entire mass of human body is a body is assumed to be concentrated and in human being it comes anterior to S2 vertebrae approximately anterior to S2 vertebrae just remember that. Now we also discussed in detail about the line of gravity. Line of gravity is the gravitational force vector or line of pull of gravity from the center of mass to the ground. For example, if center of mass of an object is here, this is the ground. This line that connects center of mass to the ground, straight line, vertical line is known as the line of gravity. That is the gravitational force vector. Now, what is basal support? Now, what is basal support? Basal support is known as uh, base of support of a person can be defined as an area beneath the person, area below the person, into which or through which he contacts the ground or the surface. Base of support can be defined as an area beneath the person or an object through which he or that object contacts with the ground all the points that he contacts with the ground or the supporting surface it may not be ground always it can be supporting surface so base of support is a point beneath the person through which he contacts the ground for example if a person is standing on a ground here and he has his one leg over here and second one over here okay now this is his leg and this is the other leg okay the entire area which he or she utilizes to contact the ground is known as the base of support base of support the entire area beneath the feet that he or she utilizes to contact the ground so in bilateral stance it will be between both the legs for example but if the person is standing in unilateral stance like this okay one of his leg is flexed over here now this is the uh, point of contact this is a single foot coming in contact so this will be the base of support at uh, the circumference of that foot okay so that is the concept of base of support simply you can tell it as a certain of the contact surface for example my hand is in contact with this uh, wall it need not be always leg it can be hand now the base of support of this hand is just the circumference that comes in contact with the ground okay now we need to understand how peso support is contributing to stability can you imagine how it is going to contribute to stability imagine two scenarios this is a scenario one and you uh, label this as x centimeter and the situation here the second situation over here the person is standing with a wider base and this is his base of support over here we call it as a 2x okay now you can see that this surface or the contact area or this base of support has increased so base of support when base of support is going to increase the stability of that person will increase so that is the first key concept so comparing a and b you can tell that this person will have greater stability because of greater because of greater 
base of support so base of support when it is great increased the stability of a person increase you can simply guess it okay you might have seen chairs like this okay uh, chairs in labs etc which has uh, only one uh, single support like this you might have been uh, utilizing you might have seen also uh, the normal chairs with uh, four legs okay now can you say that which of this one this or this one is more stable which will be more stable or more comfortable for you to sit when you are going forward or leaning backward etc definitely this chair would be more than this chair in this chair if you play like you're moving forward and backward sometimes you might fall off because this has a very less base of support whereas this one has an increased base of support so when their base of support is going to increase the stability of that person or stability of that body is increasing stability of a person or stability of the person body can increase now consider the scenario in uh, age-old persons geriatric patients or, or about 60 years okay 60 or 70 what happens is that they have their proprioceptive visual feedback auditory feedback joint proprioception etc very weak now how can you ask them to walk efficiently definitely the simple task is them just ask them to walk with wider stance so this deficits in uh, sensory and proprioceptive feedbacks will be compensated by increased base of support so if you, anybody if a person is having difficulty in stability ask him to walk with a slightly wider stance than normal of course we are walking with a normal um, the, uh, width between our feet normal base of support the person with instability can increase this base of support and hence achieve stability so increasing base of support increases the stability of the human body or any object as any object clear that is the first concept that's first relationship between base of support and stability now we have also seen uh, about the line of gravity right line of gravity imagine that same scenario when a person is standing over here like the person is standing over here like this okay and this is his one foot this is the second foot and this is his base of support now the center of mass of that body will be located in the s2 vertebra approximately anterior and now you draw a straight line over to here to here that is the line of gravity now you can see that the line of gravity is in center of the base of support of that person right as long as line of gravity is inside may not be the center as long as line of gravity is inside the center of mass if this is center of mass this is the base of support this is the base of support as long as this line of gravity is inside this base of support the person or the body will be stable if line of gravity step outside the base of support what can be the scenario for example now i'm standing like this my line of gravity is inside the base of support i am flex i am uh, deviating laterally flexing to one side more than the normal okay let me go to this man now my line of gravity may turn outside the body and this will definitely cause instability to me so if line of gravity is within the base of support the body will be or the person will be stable if line of gravity step outside the base of support definitely what will happen instability for example i'm standing and leaning forward now my line of gravity still is in the base of support but i'm leaning much more to grasp an object over here usually we fall off Sometimes if we uh, outstretch our hand to take some object, some, uh, there can be a scenario or situation in which we might slip off or we might go forward. That is because what is happening in normal stance, the base of support, the line of gravity will go outside the base of support. Line of gravity will go outside the base of support and definitely we will go for instability. So as long as line of gravity is inside the base of support, the person or an object is uh, stable. Now, how can we uh, how can we compensate or improvise ourselves? For example, we might we need not, we cannot always stand in a base of support and achieve things. We need to take or stretch our hands to take some object. We need to turn backward, etc. What can happen or how can we do it? Definitely, just think on when you are going to take an object in the table over here. What is the same thing that you are going to do? You won't keep your both legs in the same position and take it. You will just put one leg in front. So when you put one leg in front, uh, there is a wider base of support that is achieved. Okay, there is a wider base of support. And this single uh, activity 
what will do what will uh, what will be the result of that activity the line of gravity still resides inside the basal support it's not just that the, there is wider basal support in fact the basal support itself is changing and it covers a greater area to the front now when i'm standing with one leg over uh, one leg in front step forward position definitely basal support is also changed and thus the line of gravity will be in still in the base of support so this is some compensatory strategies that body will adopt we will just step forward that means simply increase the base of support so if line of gravity is falling outside the body body can defend it by increasing the base of support okay so two scenarios first one is that base of support as long as the base of support is greater stability is greater second scenario line of gravity should be always within the base of support for the stability third one if line of gravity goes outside the base of support for stability the base of support should be altered the base of support should be altered so that the line of gravity still reside inside the base of support okay so these are the three scenarios that we want to give you and finally the last point that we need to discuss is about the center of mass and stability that is simple when center of mass of an object is lower the person or the object has greater basis of stability what is that what is that okay simply when center of mass is lower to the body the stability will be more for example, if you are sitting in a chair and if you are standing up, if when you are sitting in a chair, the center of mass of course comes down. And that is the scenario where you have greater base of support, greater stability than the standing straight. Or for example, if you are standing straight like this, this is a person one and this is a person two. Okay. Now imagine if this person's uh, center of mass is located in this point and if this person's center of mass is located in a higher point of course the body composition and weight disposition can change the center of mass now he from here to the base of support this will be the line of gravity from here to base of support this will be the line of gravity that means the line of gravity will be greater in persons with the higher center of mass definitely if this line of gravity is greater this line of gravity can move to greater place uh, displace much more than the line of shorter line of gravity this line of gravity the person can only fluctuate up to this much because the line of gravity is having small height uh, is having a less length okay so the line of gravity is the factor that determine here so if center of mass is lower stability is lower is increased or higher because line of gravity is more close to the ground and it cannot fluctuate to a greater extent if center of mass is higher to the body line of mass gravity is away from the ball away from the ground and it can fluctuate to a greater extent within the base of support therefore stability will be decreased so this is a third scenario in which there is a relationship between the location of the center of mass of an object and the stability of an object if for example if center of mass is higher greater than the anterior vertebra anterior to s2 vertebra for example in l3 or l4 that person will have less stability as compared to the normal individual that is because line of gravity will be more away from the base for support and the line of gravity of that individual where the center of mass is at l3 or l4 can fluctuate to a greater extent and can fluctuate to all the sides more than the smaller line of gravity so these are the key factors that contribute stability to individual now let us look at some scenarios in which how base of support and stability can be altered in some beautiful methods here in this diagram we can see the base of support of a normal human being which is the area beneath the contact surface or the foot in this case so this is the normal base of support and here is a player whose line of gravity is shown in the red line is falling outside the base of support definitely he is having greater instability and he may fall but he is balancing it you can see that is one of his uh, hand is contacting the body of the other player so that will increase the base of support and give the stability you can clearly see that in this case also where a surfer a surfer is actually having 
the line of gravity away from the base of support and definitely there is a chance he is going to fall off but his hand is in contact with the water so in both that scenario earlier scenarios you can see that in addition to the normal base of support the hand act as a basis support even though it contribute a very small amount of base of support it is in fact helping in achieving the stability of that individual both in that player who contact the other player with his hand or the surfer who is contacting the ground with his uh, water with the can of course water won't provide greater stability as the normal surface but still it is helping in achieving the stability for that individual this is another condition in movement here a uh, uh, sprinter he is uh, having his line of gravity away from the body in fact he is adopting this position because this position enables better acceleration than when line of gravity is within the body so a position like this allows a player or an athlete to increase the acceleration which is very much needed for him to initiate the movement but something that is important is that the acceleration should be very fast in order to overcome the problem with the instability so uh, these are the ways in which the base so support can be altered or line of gravity can be altered either in a disadvantageous manner or in an advantageous manner for example when you are riding a cycle when you are riding it uh, in a very slow speed you will have decreased stability but when you are uh, increasing the speed of that pedaling definitely stability increases similar to the situation even though the line of gravity is away from the body this position adopts the sprinter to get a um, greater acceleration but at the same time he should initiate that acceleration with a greater speed so that or he should have the greater acceleration or greater velocity so so that this uh, problem of instability do not arise because of the line of gravity uh, outside the base of support if he is going for a very less acceleration at that point when line of gravity is away from the body definitely he might go for a fall with and with this we wind up this video if you like the video kindly click the like button and kindly subscribe to our channel